Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. This is going to be the latest edition of the Royal Take as we break down moves made by our Royals as they add Zane Franklin and then Brendan Saunier comes down to the Reading Royals. Plus, they also are able to sign Kirk Cup for the rest of the year as they let him go from his ATO and sign him to an SPC, meaning he'll be here for the rest of the year. Plus, Jared Brandt has been shipped out to the Wheeling or, the, excuse me, the Wooster Railers. He has been traded to Wooster, Jared Brandt, where he, like Kirk McDonald said on the lines, we're hooking more of an opportunity to play. Personally, I really like Brandt um, and wish him all the best, just like I did with Anthony Gagnon. I always wish all the players the best, but Brandt, I thought specifically, was an underrated defenseman in this league that, like Kirk McDonald said, just didn't really get a chance to play. So it's good for him to get to go to Wooster to get a chance to play. He was just on the post game live the other Friday night with Mason Milman. So. It's definitely going to be nice for him to get a chance there. Kirk Cup has added some great jam and good offensive ability to the lineup this far as well, and also plays well on the other end of the ice. So it's good to see him get the signed contract as well. And then a nice addition is Brendan Sonia. He's been great in the ECHL. Like Herb McDonald said, he has the potential to be a top six with jam and fight at the ECHL level. So you get him for nothing because he gets sent down to the Phantoms. Nobody was expecting that. Uh, and then. When it comes to Zane Franklin, he's a guy out of the University of Saskatchewan that's already played in the ECHL some and brings a lot of jam as well. So you add with Sonia and Franklin an element that some think more than I think this team was missing, where I don't think that Grit actually was missing. Ebbing plays with Grit when he needs to low. Cressy has fought a few times this year when he wasn't the guy I expected to do that as much coming into this season. So you have all these guys that do it, but now you have guys that that's kind of their thing, which is Zane Franklin and Brendan Sonia. Plus, they have the offensive ability on top of that being their thing at the ECHL level. So... I think these are key additions for the team, having Sonia just come down and play for them, and having Franklin be an addition. Brant is a subtraction that is sad to see him go, because I think he is a really good defenseman, but as Kirk McDonald said, he gets to play more in Wooster, and he's actually going to get an opportunity that he would not have got with the Reading Royals, because of just how stacked the defense is. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take. If you go over Kirk Cup sticking around, signing a contract for the rest of the year and getting released from his ATO to sign an SPC for the rest of the year. And then you got Zane Franklin signed and you got Brandon Sawney coming down, plus the Jared Brandt trade to Wooster. Everybody, peace out. Please continue to subscribe down below. Or up above the easiest widget to keep the channel growing to 230 or more by the end of April. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Go Royals.